Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maggie. If this is your first time stopping by, I hope you decide to like and subscribe. Click the notification bell, then come back, check out some of the other content I have on my channel. I do a morning devotion every single day and I have for the last three years, but I love doing these Dollar Tree hauls and shop with me's. I hadn't, I didn't have a chance to do it. I like doing those in the morning when there's not as many people there because, you know, people get weirded out when they see somebody filming and they think you're trying to film them. Anyway, I try to avoid all that. And so I did pick up some things, as you saw from the video description or the title. This is a Dollar Tree and a Timu haul. So, or Temu, however you want to pronounce it. I'll start with Dollar Tree with what's right in front of me. A lot of these are repurchases and some of them are wish list items that I just found. So... I'm going to start off with, this is a repurchase. This is the Dollar Tree Personal Care brand for the Raw Shea Butter Soap. It is compared to the Raw Shea Butter Soap, Shea Moisturizing. My husband loves these, and when these come in, they go quickly. So whenever I find them, I buy six bars just to make sure we have them. This is such a great feeling soap. Uh, if you find it, it's it's just very natural feeling, very moisturizing. Um, I also found for the first time, I've never seen this one before. This is Natural Scents Hypoallergenic Cornstarch Baby Powder with Aloe Vera and Vitamin E. It's talc-free and absorbs moisture, soft and silky, all over body protection. This is just really good, not just for me. Sometimes uh, when it's really hot, um, powder is the way to cool me off and so talc free is the way to go so I was glad to have that and then this was a wish list item found power stick shower gel in the Brazilian mist fragrance first of all I've never seen shower gels from power stick so this is a first this Brazilian mist is just like that Sol de Janeiro or something it's it's the Caramel pistachio. Oh, it smells so good. I have the spray. And this is, yeah, notes of pistachio and salted caramel, which is really good. It's 16 ounces. So I picked up two. Okay, that takes care of bag number one. I'm looking forward to using that tonight. The spray is really good. The Power Stick Body Spray in the same fragrance, uh, Brazilian Mist. And it smells amazing, but it's not really super long lasting. So I'm thinking the layering would really do a lot, uh, the layering of the fragrances. And it's just, it's the type of spray it is. It isn't a body spray, it's a deodorant spray. So there's a difference. Uh, and then um, I picked up a tissue. This is a restock because I ran out of tissue. And... Then I picked up some of these uh, foam craft sponges. We're going to be doing some wedding favors for my daughter Sarah's wedding. And it's we're going to be needing these for spreading the Mod Podge. And then this it wasn't a super big haul. I picked up some throat drops. Well, let's do it this one first. This is the eczema cream. I have one spot on the top of my foot that has been itching me like crazy and in just in prayer I says what can I do because it's not a bug bite or anything else and I've been scratching it till it's a sore you know and so I, in my time of prayer I feel the Lord directed me to get this when I put it on my foot it took care of it so I got some more and I don't know what caused that I'm praying about that for sure okay also from that section I picked up several different types of throat drops we're going to be coming into the fall winter, and um, I picked up the Halls Defense, help support the immune system, immune defense. I'm going to, I got that one, and I did get cough and throat relief in Honey Lemon. So these are two Halls products. I got two bags each. One is for throat's immune support. The other one is for if you actually have a cough. It's nice to have these on hand. And then... I picked up two bags of the Ricola. I actually love Ricola. This is actually my favorite one. But this is also cough, original herbal cough drops. So these are going into my medicine cabinet, so to speak. People like different things. My favorite is this one. But I am anxious. In fact, I'm going to pop one of these in my mouth right now just because they do have dupes for this. This is, it says assorted citrus. 
And I bought the other dupes and loved the dupes for this. But it's good to see that the name brand Halls is actually in the Dollar Tree. Though I'm sure you don't get as much in these as you do. And this is supposed to be assorted. So I'm just going to grab one and pop it in my mouth. Although I don't have the raspiness today that I've been struggling with. Which I tend to think is allergy. So it's pink. So I'm thinking this is supposed to be grapefruit. Hey man, that's not bad. Okay. I did find this very pretty claw clip by Madison Tyler. And you can just look and see there's some sparkle, but also kind of pink, clear. I like it. I was like, oh, that's nice. So I got that. I did pick up these clips for my granddaughter, Eleanor, because she's got long bangs. And so this will give her something she can clip back for school or church. Okay. And LA Colors has a new lip and something. It's a new display of things. So it has lip liners and I got three of them. Let's see. Let me do the lip liners first. It's a whole section for just your lips. Okay. So there's lip liners, there's plumping lip gloss, there's different types of lipstick and lip crayons. So here's the lip liners. This one is Romance. Okay. This one is Forever Berry. And this last one is Glam Time. So you can see... This is really the palette I like having on my lips. I'm not really, it's about the lightest I'll go. Mm -hmm. Oh, and this is a nail polish by Sally Hansen. It's vegan and friendly. I got it at the Dollar Tree called Beat It. You'll see it on one of my previous ones. But anyway, these are the lip liners. Lip liners give your lips a nice finished look. And then I pick up these two lip crayons. This one is Deep Love, and this one is So Snatched. I hope that doesn't mean something bad. <laughs> so, So Snatched and Deep Love. Those are very pretty colors, and it's the brownish pink. I, fall's coming, and so I think that's fall line jewelry. I mean, fall line jewelry. Really? Makeup. Okay, so there we go. Those will go in. Okay, those there. And then I did, I always love it when I find the new Barbie stuff, because you know, I'm a Barbie girl, and my granddaughter, Eleanor, loves Barbie. And I'm thinking that Nora's going to love Barbie too. Excuse me. I'm trying to clear up the stuff. So let me put this guy down here. Okay, they have some new fashion and fun gowns. All right, so we'll start with this one. These are super cute. I've had no problem with the quality of the Barbie fashion clothes at the Dollar Tree. Really, in all honesty, it's a dollar and 25 cents. Your granddaughter your little girl isn't going to know as long as her doll can wear it she's not going to care okay so you have this one you have this red velvet one shoulder one that looks like it's got a nice little split here this one's really nice now there's no shoes or accessories it's just a basic dress which is why i think they went with a nicer fabric then you have this one which just has a nice little spaghetti strap little kind of guess mermaid look at the bottom you know the flared little thing at the bottom and then you have this fun little number black with the little sequin bottom spaghetti strapped as well little sweetheart neckline mm -hmm. that's a real mermaid kind of dress the green and the blue with the flare out at the bottom really cute and it looks like it's uh, pretty finished around the edges. I'm, it's not finished at the bottom. 
but the material doesn't look like it frays, so that's a plus. And then the last one is this rose gold number, gold and rose gold. Very cute. I was I was impressed. I was like, well, okay. They just came out with some new career um, outfits as well. So you have six new dresses, which are always super cute. And I mean, if if they love Barbie, this is a good option and solution because they do have Barbie brand shoes and accessories in the Dollar Tree. So that's really nice. You could put together a cute little gift for someone. I wouldn't recommend the Dollar Store. I wouldn't recommend the Dollar Store Barbie dolls or fashion dolls. They're You might buy it for the dress they're wearing, but the doll, mm -mm. you could make her a mannequin in your Barbie store. But no, even though they did some with jointed knees and stuff, yeah. But no, yeah. Get her one of the little Walmart Barbies and then take it from there. And then I got a bunch of cards. These are fall Thanksgiving cards. I got these not necessarily to send out, although this one is one for sending out. But... I love those little bears. Look at that. You can use these for your paper crafting. This is actually a friendship card that I have a lot of friends that are very, very dear to me. So I like picking up cards so I can just pop one in the mail to them when I'm thinking about them and missing them. This I loved and I may send out. This is such a cute card. Oh my gosh. And the glitter on it is just enough touches to make it look super pretty. And you, it really doesn't do it justice here. But I love the little houses, like the little village. I love this look. This is just everything to me. And even the inside of the card has this cute little. But if you didn't want to use it to send out a Thanksgiving card, I actually got three of those. Or two. I got two. And the Thanksgiving cards have this color envelope. So you can always tell Christmas have red envelopes. Um, uh, Halloween have orange, you know, they usually have something, but I got two of these really cute. You could use them for paper crafting, junk journaling, different things like that. This one I bought four of this one. I may be sending out. I love it. It says, <clears throat> especially at Thanksgiving, let us be grateful for the freedom we share, the opportunities we enjoy and the promise of dreams for us and for the generations of tomorrow. Mm, couldn't have said it better myself. And then thinking of you, happy Thanksgiving. I left one. I left one. One, two, three. Okay, I did pick up three of these. So these I thought were gorgeous. And I'm not sure who I'm going to send to or if I'm going to use them in paper crafting. But I've noticed their cards are so nice and so much cheaper than other things. Okay. Now moving on to Timu. Temu. First of all, I ordered for Christmas six of these. I ordered one of these in the past. And when I was in Florida, when I traveled to Florida last week, my twin sister and I packed this. This is identified in Timu as a snackle box. Isn't that adorable? So while we had a different snack in each compartment, and I mean, we tried to be really good. We had like mixed nuts. And then we had two different types of protein bars that we cut up into little bites. And then we had like a dessert bar that was a keto friendly dessert bar, you know, so it's supposed to be things that work, you know, we could just pop in our mouth. This side over here was the one is peanut M&Ms and these gummy straws and something else. And, you know, all the goody goodies on one side and the stuff that's supposed to be healthy on the other. But I mean, you could do what you want with it. I ordered six. <clears throat> Because, and I'll take this out so you guys can look, it's pretty good size too. Okay, these these lift up so you carry it like that. You have these clip sides. The lid comes off and then these, these come out. There's no snap in or anything, it's just really nice really convenient so i have ordered one for each of my girls and my hubby and hopefully they won't see this or they won't bother to look at this but 
Um, I'm going to fill it with all their favorite goodies and they will get this on Christmas Eve. This will be one of their Christmas Eve little fun gifts. I'm going to fill each one up. And let me tell you, you know those big giant share bags of, uh, not the individual skinny ones, but the big wide bags of the um, peanut M&Ms? One of these compartments almost took everything in that bag. There was just a, maybe a handful left that we kind of, you know, ate while we were packing up the night before. But what didn't fit in here went into our mouths. But you can see what I'm saying. These things apparently hold a lot. So I'm excited about that. We got the idea while we were on the Oh, my gosh. How much fun would that be to get one for everybody for Christmas and fill it with their favorite snacks? You know, <clears throat> for the fellas, you could do, you know, fill up a few compartments with beef jerky and cheese crackers and nuts and all the stuff they like. Okay. <clears throat> I also ordered this for um, <clears throat> my daughter, granddaughter, Eleanor, for Christmas. This is a cute 18-inch doll suitcase. The wheels move and they even spin on both sides okay and then it's got a little clasp here and the handle extends up this is stinking adorable and they have several different variations of this with different outfits and accessories so it opens up and you have this so there's on this side a cute adorable little unicorn type neck pillow and a camera. I don't think anything on here moves. Oh wait, it does. There's a little button that makes it sound like there's a picture being taken. And it's pretty detailed. You can see. Okay. I'm going to try to keep everything together so I don't have a hard time putting it back in here. This will be Christmas for her. There's also, or one of her Christmas gifts, there's a cute little 18 inch doll backpack with working zippers, pockets in the here and in the front there's a dress and the other variations will have different dresses different outfits different things okay two little barrette hair clips also for the doll a doll cell phone this has passport, money, and the airline ticket. And then a little sheet of stickers to decorate the outside. Isn't that precious? Let me put all this. Oops. I dropped the. Gosh, don't you just love my professionalism? <laughs> okay. Okay, so I'm going to put all this back in. And that'll get wrapped up and go under the tree. I always like to get her things for her 18-inch dolls. She absolutely loves playing with them. It allows her to um, have a lot of, you know, fun value. It might be too much for some people. And I'm like, okay. You know, but she does play with all of her thrift store dolls. I think there's only one and that, that was bought for her brand new. And it's an our generation girl from like two Christmases ago that her Aunt Allie bought for her. All the rest have been $3 finds at the Dollar Tree or inherited from her mother or her aunt. So, all right, so there's that. I'm going to pull this big thing out. This is a Timu purse. Okay, obviously I haven't opened it yet. I saw this and I wanted to check the, the it wasn't too expensive. I want to say it was in the neighborhood of $17 to $20, which I didn't think was bad. Oh, it's got a nice little fabric. I'm not going to take the plastic off the handles, but that is a nice leather. I know it's not real leather, but it's faux crocodile. There's a, a pocket here in the front. 
Okay, I might have to trim this, but I'm not taking the plastic off the handles because I haven't decided if I'm keeping this or if I'm going to give it as a gift. So there's the zipper. And there's more inside. It also comes with this and then another on the inside which is for pictures you guys remember when or business cards or whatever you want to put in there that's not bad and i want to say the three piece set was right at around 20 20 some dollars when i saw it i thought that would be cute for the fall either for me or be a nice gift so we'll see I haven't made up my mind yet. <laughs> okay, next. Now, let's, since we're with bags, let's do this one. This is a Winnie the Pooh canvas tote. My youngest granddaughter, Nora, loves Pooh Bear, which makes her Aunt Winnie very happy. But this, I thought, was an adorable tote. The bottom is an oval it's not as big as I thought it was going to be, but that's okay. It doesn't need to be big. There's a nice zipper at the top, but it does open up. This is very well made. It's a nice canvas tote. There's a, a pocket there and a pocket on either side. And then you have these pockets in the front. There's one here, one here, and one here. So it's Piglet. A smile. Today is full of possibilities. Thank you for being a wonderful friend, Tigger. This one doesn't make any sense at all. I said, uh, a mile, Ali, the difference. I'm sure it was supposed to say something like a smile makes all the difference, but we'll pretend. <laughs> So there's the little sections for you to put your drinks or whatever else. That's cute. I let's see. This was a dress that I got for Eleanor. There's the ribbon. I'm sure that's a waist belt. Very cute. This is nice t-shirt material up here. And this is a satiny kind of polyester on the bottom. Very cute design. It feels like it's very light and sheer. I'm sure she will enjoy having this for school while it is still warm. And in Virginia, it'll be warm sometimes up into October. So I'm thankful for the mild weather. We're kind of in a false fall. The whole week I was in... Um, Florida, I heard the weather was gorgeous. It was like in the 60s in the morning and everyone was just like, ooh. I said, okay. This is a pair of the culotte kind of pants that I ordered for myself that have this little cutout kind of filigree pattern on the bottom. I have, uh, I ordered from Timu also previously and I've done them in previous hauls, a black one a navy blue one and a red one. Now this is kind of a royal blue, which I love this color and these have been so comfortable. I can wear them with a wedge. I can wear them with some really pretty flats and they just look really nice and chic. And so I saw this, I didn't know that it was available in royal blue and I said, royal blue? These were right around seven or eight dollars, which is not bad for a pair of pants. It's like Walmart price. Okay. Now, y'all know that I experiment with wiglets. I've gotten them in the past. Of course, I have thick hair, so people are like, what do you need that for? Sometimes I just want to pull my hair back and just see. And this one is supposed to be longer. It's a claw clip. I don't know how that's going to work because my hair is really thick. But anyway, I'll play around with that later. But that's come in. I don't know if it's going to work, but... We will see. I think I got a pretty good color match on my hair. But there are times when I just, I either it's a 
humid, frizzy day, and I'm still, as I said this morning in my devotion, I'm still trying to figure out how, when I'm inside the house where it's air conditioned, there's no open windows, how the humidity outside can frizz my hair on the inside. Don't know. Someone explain that to me. And then I'm going to dump the rest of this out because... Okay. All right. And I can go through these individually. Okay. This is a cute little zipper pouch that I ordered, also Winnie the Pooh themed. And it says, sometimes the, smaller thing, the smallest things take up the most room in your heart. And that's kind of like baby uh, Pooh, baby Piglet, Tigger and Eeyore. Very cute. And it's double-sided. Okay. It feels like it's a cotton lining on the inside. Pretty roomy. You can use that for whatever you want. Um, my granddaughter is loving poo, so I'm going to get something that's going to attract her attention. She's actually at her second swimming lesson, which thrills me. Okay. I ordered for Eleanor and her friends these adorable acrylic little snowman necklaces. It's double-sided. I am going to say that in on the Timu website, this seems like it's a three-dimensional item, and I think they've gotten a lot of complaints about that because they're starting to mention this is not a three-dimensional item. So be careful of that because this looked way more three-dimensional on the website than it did here, but I'm not mad about it because this is actually pretty cute. Let me hook that. But Eleanor always likes to give a, a gift to her friends at Christmas. And so this works either way. So I ordered seven of those so that Eleanor gets one too because she likes jewelry. Six and seven. There's the seven. Okay. I ordered this set of jewelry for a Christmas gift for someone in my family. So this is super pretty, look at this. This is um, colored like embroidery floss. So it's like the cording is wrapped with all this beautiful, and then they have this here in the middle, this metal, three separate pieces that make that, boy, that's a statement jewelry, isn't it? And then here are the earrings that go with it. Very nice, very chic. My uh, family and I tend to be very, um, very kind of bold in our style, you know, with colors and all the things. So, okay. Oh, I see. I, there's something I need to repair there. Uh, there's a big loop that connects this piece just like this piece is connected. So I'll just go ahead and fix that. And you can see where it kind of got stretched out a little. So it's not too damaged. I could send it back for free if I want to, but I don't want to go through the hassle. And it's not that big of a deal because everything I need is there. So it may have happened when they were putting it into the, into the um, bag. But that's a Christmas gift. I'll get a box for it. And I have a few family members who would probably love and appreciate that. And then I found these earrings, also intended for a gift. Sometimes a statement earring with nothing else does the trick. And there's a lot of, you know, I know that's faux turquoise. And, you know, I have several girls who, who really love the statement earrings. So that'll be uh, a gift for someone. And I saw this set of, now we're, we're kind of in an important election year. And so, you know, there's memorabilia you can get on the different opponents and things like that. I've been looking to see what I can find. And this actually surprised me. I ordered this set of pins 
you know, just for the sake of remembering this election, which is kind of historic. Um, I was shocked at how big they were. I thought they were going to be like little kind of tack pins, and you'll know what I mean as soon as you see them. Look how big these are. Okay. So here's... Here's this one. I love that these are big like this. There's silver and gold American flags. I couldn't believe how big these were. And then these were, these just say Trump. You know, you gotta have the memorabilia. It's historic, it's an election year. I've actually started looking into collecting because in 2020, I have all the posters and bumper stickers and all that from Trump and Biden. I have them in my little 2020 and the different flyers they were handing out at the at the poll. I grabbed all of them. I was like, yeah, give them to me. OK, so I thought, let me just get more than just something paper that's going to get ruined. And so that'll be nice to have that. I got this fun pen. Eleanor picked it out. It's a little carousel and it's got some moving parts on it that I think she's going to love. Okay. You see that? She picked it out and I thought, okay, that's adorable. Pink little horse, but it's not just a pin here, but it's got this here. So you could actually wear that as a pendant if you wanted to, but these are cute. That'll be cute on a coat you know, because it's kind of a thick, it's kind of a big pen for a little girl. But she liked it. And I was like, oh, it's pink. I love that. Okay. All right. And then here's a very pretty Christmas pen that Eleanor picked out. And these were less than a dollar. Or a dollar and a quarter, something like what you'd get in the Dollar Tree, something like what you'd spend. But this is a very pretty multicolored Christmas tree, and it's just a pin back there. She liked that. I said, okay. I let her pick last time, which I missed her. We were supposed to have her last weekend, but it's the last day of summer because they started school on Monday. As I move with my ever-present professionalism, bend over while I'm on camera to pick up the pin I dropped. <laughs> Okay, so there we go with that. I then ordered, the last three things are just jewelry pins, and I'm looking to see if there's anything else I ordered that came in that is not here, and I'm not seeing anything. Okay. When she was little, there's a Disney short called Bao, and it's about this uh, Chinese uh, Canadian, there's a Chinese family living in Canada, and this mom is making her dumplings and one of them comes to life and it turns out you find out later on it's growing up and it's pulling away from her and you find out later on that it was actually her son not her son not being a dumpling but Eleanor loved that and I saw this cute little pin of the dumplings the bow and I thought okay I gotta get that for her because that was the theme for her second birthday she just would watch that and not stop she loved that show and it's it's cute it's it's adorable so then we have a cute little snowman pin this is another one that eleanor picked out cute little basic snowman oh i love that i didn't even realize that those are like little crystals red crystals down here and over here in the flowers and in the holly yep so I thought that was cute. And then this last one is a little pink piece of candy. This came in a variety of colors and she chose the pink. And then that's it. That is all for my Dollar Tree and my Timu haul. Uh, comment, let me know what, you, uh, what you've what you been finding for yourself. If there's anything I showed you that you're like, wow, I didn't know that Timu or Dollar Tree had that. and Or if you've gotten them before and what you think. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Make sure you like and subscribe and click the notification bell. Come back and check out some of the other content I have on my channel. I hope you have a great day. Bye until next time.